knowing where you are at and where your model's information is, is vital in AutoCAD. Everything in life is relative, especially from a certain point of view. And so is AutoCAD data. To help, AutoCAD has a world coordinate system. It is based on a typical mathematical Cartesian coordinate type system that is commonly used around the world and understood. Sometimes though, especially when working with 3D objects, it can help if you can define alternate coordinate systems. In AutoCAD, these are called User Coordinate Systems, or the UCS. You can also use custom coordinate systems in a 2D environment as well. It will help you to get to a specific place. Or if you are a surveyor or a civil designer and you need to work in different state planes coordinates, you can set up different coordinate systems relative to your design site that are in different state planes coordinates. And then you can work with them accordingly. Even though your line work doesn't move, the coordinate system around them does, keeping everything relative. Those are some practical uses of the UCS. I want to go through and show you how to use the UCS and how to set some of them up. Now, some new advances to AutoCAD have made things in doing this a lot easier than they were in the past. But to start, you can type in UCS on the command line and automatically you're changing the coordinate system just by changing where the original coordinates are. So if I have a rectangle and it starts at point zero comma zero and then it comes up let's say 100 units by 100 units. That's a rectangle. And this is at point zero zero. Now if I start that UCS again, press enter, and I change the coordinate system, essentially I'm moving my origin relative to the line work. Say I'm just going to put it on this corner now instead. And there we go. I didn't move my line work. It stays where it is relative to itself and you know, to other line work but my coordinate system is now different. This is zero comma zero, not this. This is actually a negative 100 by negative 100. So that can be very useful, especially in the example that I gave earlier of a surveyor who has to work on different coordinate systems. Position is relative, and that's where the UCS can help you out. Now, the UCS commands are found in the 3D tool ribbon panel. Now, by default, in the drafting and annotation workspace, that panel doesn't show up here in the ribbon. Well, this is how you can get to it. Go up to the ribbon, from the top here, right click. This will give you some ribbon options. You can change some tool palette information here, but we don't want to do that right now. We can change what tabs are being shown and what panels, etc. So for the show tabs, these are all the tabs available to us. By default, in the drafting and annotation, 3D tools and rendering are turned off because you typically don't need those in this type of environment. But in this case, we want the 3D tools turned on. So you click the box, the window closes, and now we have access to the 3D tools tab. These are a lot of different 3D tools, basic 3D tools that have been around in AutoCAD for a long time. These are not the more advanced tools, but most of them are here from what you're going to want to use. But right here is what we're interested in, the coordinates. I can get to my world coordinate system. As you can see, my XY axis just shifted back to where it was before. That was very nice and very useful. It's very quick. I can type in UCS again. And I have a lot of different options. I can create a UCS off the face of an object. So if I have a 3D object, it will match that face, and that will create a new coordinate system. I can create a named one. I can create it off of an object that's similar to face. I can go back to a previous one. I hit previous. Here it is. Now if I type in UCS, hit enter, and let's go named. I don't have one currently, but I'm going to save one. So I'm going to save this. 
and let's just call it 100 by 100. There. Now if I go back to my world coordinate system, just by clicking on the world button right here, it's very quick, I can also type in UCS, and now I can go back to named, restore, and for a list I can click on here, hit an asterisk, and it will populate a list for me, or I can just type it in, 100 by 100, enter. And there you go. Now there are other ways to create a UCS. If I come up here, I can rotate about the X axis, about the Y axis, about the Z axis. Over here, I can get to a three point system, go to the previous, go to a view, again, the face or the object. All of these options are right here in the command line when I type in the command UCS. So it's very quick and easy to get to. If I click on here, I get to the UCS settings. Here are my named UCS. I can get to them right here. There's 100 by 100. You can hit set current. Or I can even look at some of the details. It tells you where the origin is relative to the world coordinate system. Now this is really cool too, because if I set up different ones, like, 100 by 100 is relative to 100 by 100. You can see most everything is 0 or 1. You can compare these things. So if you're working in, like where I live in the state of Florida, we have a state plains east and a state plains west coordinate system. Some of the counties here are in both systems. Most of them are only in one. And the coordinate systems are relative to each other. And so sometimes they seem like they're backwards, east and west, even though the counties are north and south of each other. It's just the way it works out sometimes. You can see where your project is relative to the other coordinate system. You have other settings here. You can turn the icon on or off. You can display it at the origin or not. You can look at different orthographic UCSs that come into play here, top, bottom, front, left, right, etc., and see how they relate to the world coordinate system or to your new ones. All of that's really cool. But there are a lot of new tools in AutoCAD that will allow you to work with the UCS, like the icon itself. I can select it now. I can pick here, and I can move it or align it. I can move the origin only, or I can go right back to the world coordinate system. So let's say I needed to go back to where I was before in my set view. I can come here. I can go back to my world, or I can type in UCS and type in world again, and that puts you back there. This is much quicker and much easier. Now if I right click on it, I can get to my named UCSs right here, one by 100. That's even more quick. So here's a case where you can get to this stuff through the ribbon. You can get to it through the command line, but it's actually quicker just to use my left click and right click on my icon. I can get back to world. I can one click and then right click and I'm back to where I need to be. That's very efficient. I can change my origin. I can have all of these other UCS settings all right here. Get back to my properties. I can show the icon or not and I can create new ones. Very useful, very quick. So if I select this, I rotate, say 45 degrees, and I'm working this way. Now why would I want to do that? Well, if I start a line command and I turn on my ortho, I'm now drawing at 45 degrees. Now I can select my UCS icon, right click, go back to world. And now I've created an isometric view. Very quickly, 
very easily and with little effort. So that's another use that you can use the UCS for, is drawing things at a specific angle. So if you're creating like a PNID sheet, piping an instrument design sheet, you can draw your lines for your pipes at these specific angles just by creating a custom UCS at a specific angle and turning your ortho on. So the UCS controls have a lot of different neat functionality to them. You can do a lot more. It will also keep things relative to each other in your file.